Good evening. My name is Jeff Houston. I'm a resident of San Diego. First of all, I want to say how delighted I am to see such a great turnout from the community. It shows the love for San, for San Diego Creek. It's very heartwarming for me to see this many people concerned about our environment. Um, San Diego Creek is a jewel to our community. Um, one of the largest, larger watersheds in the East Bay. San Lorenzo Creek, on the other side of our city, is where I live. And unfortunately, when the Army Corps of Engineers decided to work on San Lorenzo Creek, there wasn't anybody around to say anything. And so what we have now is eight miles of cement and no trees. So I hope that we continue to protect San Diego Creek. What I really want to ask is, first of all, I support replacing invasive species with native species. Thank you very much for that. As you do this, my, my, my main concern is the steelhead. We know that steelhead migrate up San Diego Creek and spawn at the foot of the dam. I hope that you know that too. If you don't have evidence of that, I have a biological <coughs> report and I can get that to you. Um, as you remove the trees, it's important to, to keep the shade on the creek so that the steelhead and the fish species um, are impacted by too much heat. And so I just want to make sure that you're going to take care of that. Uh, I'm, I'm Dan Stevens with HG Carbon Associates. We're the ecological consultants for the uh, county on this project. And I actually agree with all of your comments. And we have been taking into consideration Rob Lighting's report about the steelhead on the creek. Um, we're well aware of the possibility they may occur there. And so in the project design, we've been very careful to look at uh, and measure in the field all the vegetation that would remove shading of the creek. And the native replanting that we've designed, the restoration plantings, that have in part been specifically designed to replace that loss of shading at a three to one ratio, so more than three to one um, ratio of replacement for the impact will occur and those planting pools um, located right next to the stream channel where, where fish obviously are, um, are located. Um, the other uh, comment on, on the restoration um, is, is that we will be planting a wide diversity of native plants, both trees and shrubs and ground covers in all the areas where the trees will be removed. So we've taken a very close look at what the <coughs> biological impact would be and, and it's um, at this point Fully I just wanted to add to that just briefly that also the, the project that we're currently doing, we're avoiding uh, impacting the creek. We're not going to touch the creek. We're not going to put any equipment in the creek. There is a, a location at St. Mary where we are going to be, be on a, a terrace, but it's above uh, ordinary <coughs> high water, so we won't be in you know, any, any uh, creek channel at all with our project. And we're real, you know, happy to you know avoid impact to any aquatic species such as rainbow trout or the potential steelhead.